Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the IDH number 21252I storm door latch in the 015 finish, that means satin nickel. Really nice quality fit and finish on that satin nickel. This is what it's going to look like when it comes from the factory. It's basically assembled like this. Okay. Uh, before we get into this item specifically, uh, it's going to include a small little T-strike, which will be handy. And then, of course, fasteners for everything. Your, uh, it's got your rosettes and your strike plate. Now, there is a link below this video to the installation instructions. Uh, let's go over that now. Uh, first of all, you're going to drill a 5 8 diameter spindle hole through the door. Ensure the hole center is inch and three quarter from the edge of the door. So you need a 5 8 diameter hole through the door, right through the face of the door, inch and three quarter back set at the proper vertical height based on where you want to have it installed. Door thickness, 7 8 to inch and 5 8 that's your range. So if you've got an inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter wood storm door, you're in good shape. Inch and three eighths door, you're still in good shape. Then you're going to drill a five eighths hole, the same diameter, through the edge of the door, and you're going to go back to that first five eighths cross bore hole that you drilled. These holes must be straight. You you want to take time, take patience to make sure that you drill them straight. If the holes are really not straight, the lock's not going to fit correctly. And then once you force it on, it won't operate at all, really, properly. So just drill the hole straight and you'll be in good shape. You're going to insert the latch assembly. So that's going to begin with basically a disassembly. That is a threaded spindle on there and the handles are threaded. And you see the set screw that's here. Well, those are backed out. I backed those out so I could remove the, the uh, levers from the threaded spindle. Careful, this is solid brass. So you don't want to damage the threads at all by removing it. You've got your inside rosette. And before we go further, the inside rosette is a privacy sort of function, which is handy for a storm door. By pulling this little trim lever back, what you do is you take that presentation from being circular to being square. And it's that square action is what will lock against the square portion of your spindle, preventing that from rotating. Uh, you're going to want to get your latch assembly uh, pulled out of there. That's really nothing other than just pulling it out of there. I depress the latch bolt myself so that I can get it taken out carefully. Okay. At that point you're in real good shape. Okay. When I depress it you can back, you can see how it inserts. Take that and insert it into your door. Obviously the hand is unimportant. You can tip that latch any way you like. Solid brass construction, by the way. Once you get that installed, then go ahead and shoot in the assembly that you just removed. Okay, So right from the exterior, or the interior, well, the exterior in, the, in this case, you're going to get that slided in there. That's normal. That happens. That's okay. This is all one fixed assembly, and that's just a tube. It's almost as if I meant to do it, which I didn't. But the key is I didn't lose any of the parts. That's always the key. So this part will be in the door, so all you really need to do is push in with your finger. It will be less difficult than it is because I have to actually hold the piece as well. And you'll be able to get that back in there, and you're in good shape. So now you're going to, with the screws provided, get your rosette attached and they show the holes to be vertical like this. Um, then le leave this loose for now. Leave that loose. Then come with your other rosette, again vertical. There's no uh, requirement in terms of what side the privacy uh, is operating on. Uh, it would be uh, my opinion to see it towards the hinge side would be more typical. Screw that onto the door. You're in good shape. Then get your other lever, thread that in, and basically thread both of your levers 
so that they mate down to the rosettes and that you can tighten that uh, and confirm operation at that point. I've got these loose so they don't they don't turn the latch back. And I don't have a small enough screwdriver. But that's how your operation is going to be, just like that. Turn your levers down, get them tightened down to where they have to go. You know, and I'm impressed with this. It's, it's very good quality fit and finish. When you look at the nickel finish on the rosette and the lever, it's, it's nice. There's a clear lacquer on there. It's a very good fit and finish. There's no imperfections in it. Uh, nice, nice item. Weighs about seven-tenths of a pound with the box that it comes in, but there you go. Uh, mortising for this uh, strike plate. To install the strike, drill a three-quarter inch diameter hole, half inch deep, in the door jamb opposite the center line of the latch. Uh, and if you're going to mortise this into the frame, it's a sixteenth of an inch. That's a small amount. You might just finish that off with a chisel, a very sharp chisel. If I've not already set it, available in several different finishes. Okay, and I wouldn't hesitate to use this on my storm door very good quality fit and finish. IDH also has a link below this video to the product page which is handy because it shows this item along with its sister products uh, other items that quite frankly go with a sort of storm door installation. Uh, again solid brass construction and that product uh, link you'll see it on page three where this item is in particular. Uh, of, uh, of note, uh, you can also obtain this item with a knob on one side, which is very common as well. That's a 21250. But also on page, the bottom of page one, you can get similar items with rectangular escutcheons. So that's nice as well. Uh, less common for us to sell those. This is a real standard sort of design, especially with the knob. If you have any questions on the IDH21252i Storm Door Latch or any other IDH product, please feel free to reach out to us.